Hey guys, this is Mike from Tech of Tomorrow, and today we feature the iPod Touch 4th generation. Not much of a different design from the previous, but it is a lot thinner. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just take a general look around the device, and I'll be back with some more information. Okay guys, so here we have the 4th generation iPod Touch, and you can see that it is a slightly thinner than the previous uh, version, and everything else is generally the same, the look of it. Um, the capacities come in 8, 32, and 64, much like the previous generation uh, before it. We have the standard 30-pin dock connector cord uh, to the USB, of course your regular headphones, and then of course the device itself. On the bottom, we do have the 30-pin uh, connector for your plug, the headphones, and of course the microphone at the bottom there. And pretty much the same goes for the top. One big adjustment is they did switch the on-off switch to the other side. As we take a look at the front of the device here, we do have the beautiful 3.5-inch widescreen multi-touch display, 960 by 640 pixel resolution at 326 pixels per square inch. Uh, the big discussion these days is exactly the little nuances between the iPhone 4 screen and the iPod Touch, but as you can see here, it looks good. On this side, as we're looking at it, you do have your two volume rockers, one being blocked by my cohort here, but that's okay. <laughs> Same shiny back uh, that we uh, have come to know with the iPod. On the front, you do have, again, the front-facing camera, and uh, FaceTime is available via Wi-Fi. As we turn back over to the rear of the device, you do have the rear-facing camera with microphone. Disappointingly, it is less than a megapixel for photos, but the recording is 720p up to 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and just give you guys a simple idea of what that looks like. Personally, I think they look good. We've got some cherry tomatoes to the left, and I think some tomatoes on the right, but the image quality does pretty good. I would like to compare it to the iPhone 4. So, video. Here is a beautiful looking cat. I think it looks pretty darn good. Uh, the lighting is good in this picture. And uh, again, back to the tomatoes, the lighting is good in that. So in proper light, you can't go wrong. Good uh, macro on this device as well. For the lack of megapixel, I personally think, again, it does look good. So as we wrap this up, they do come, again, like I said earlier, in 8, 32, and 64 gig. The wireless uh, Wi-Fi, uh, Bluetooth enabled 2.1. The battery power on this device uh, it will run for 40 hours on your audio and 7 hours of video. So you definitely can't go wrong there. Charging times, according to Apple, fast charge in about 2 hours would be 80%, full charge in about 4 hours. So that is our first look at the iPod Touch 4th generation. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, we'll be back with some more things and uh, battling out with the iPhone 4. All right, guys, so there you go. First look at the fourth gen iPod Touch. But now it's your turn. We want to hear in the comment section below some of the things that you want to see uh, compared between the iPod Touch fourth gen and the iPhone 4. So again, let us know in the comment section below. We'll go ahead and test it out for you. And even if you found something that you think nobody else has or nobody else found, let us know. We'll go ahead and take a look at it and uh, We'll try it out ourselves. So guys, that's coming up next. Gonna show you guys a little bit of uh, my gaming skills or lack thereof. So with the dog barking, I think that's gonna call it quits because I gotta go let her in. <laughs> so uh, you guys take it easy and uh, stick around for more videos from uh, Tekka tomorrow and I'll talk to you later. See you.